Hi guys, welcome to a pack with me video. Today we are packing for Mykonos in Greece. So very excited, obviously, and we have a lot to get through. And if you watch my videos, you know how much I hate packing. Got my nails done for holiday. We went extremely bright purple because I thought this would tie in with Halloween as well. And then I'm wearing my flight outfit. So I'm gonna show you this first. So we have a pretty little thing. Mm, what do you call this? Comfy suit, I would say. <laughs> it's extremely long. Um, I've had to pull it up really high up, but I'm gonna wear those chunky Converse with these, the, the new platform ones that are actually really, really comfy. But oh my God, it is so comfy. It's ribbed and it's stretchy, so just perfect for the flight. Oh my God, I can't believe I found something like this, just so convenient for flying. It's nice and bright for the end of summer as well. Um, it's September now, so we're gonna round off summer in style in Greece. All right, so straight on to night outfits because I think that's what a lot of people watch Pack With Me's for, so they know what to wear. And I have this really pretty, and it's so silky and soft, shirt dress from Pretty Little Thing. The same sort of material, it's just got more of a sheen to it. Um, than the last uh, outfit that I showed you. You'll see through, like I can do with the bra, that's okay. But like I'm not wearing underwear here and it's just, I'm just gonna have to wear my lightest underwear and hope for the best I think, because I don't have any sort of shorts to put under it. And I've left it too late to be buying any new stuff. But I really do like this. Um, Mykonos is meant to be very windy, so I am worried about this blowing up. So I might have to go get some shorts from somewhere. This outfit, again, pretty little thing, screams Molly May, so I'm pretty sure it's from her collection. She loves a really long sleeve. I've also tucked it up on one side, just so you can see the difference, just in case you wanna shorten the sleeves. In need of a good iron, but a really lovely color. Nice olive green. It's not the softest of material, but it's not that really crunchy sort of material. It has got some softness to it. And it's got the elastic in the middle as well, which is great for all the food we're gonna eat. Another Molly May collection dress. I do love this, but I think it's gonna be quite cold in Mykonos again with the wind. And I don't think this is gonna do me any favors. It's completely blackless. It is very, very short, this dress. I have to keep pulling it down. Love the ruched neckline though. Very Grecian goddess. Just don't know what to do here. I think it's gonna be a bit too chilly to wear in September. And by the way, these are all new garments that I've bought that I've never tried on. Just got them out of the PLT bag. But that's the end of that haul. So now it's just going to be clothes I've got in here. I also have this one, which I forgot I bought from H&M. This is a really gorgeous satin feel dress. Really like the length as well. Not too short. Like PLT go way, way too short with everything. This is a lovely length. So really love the colour as well. So vibrant. Another little chic outfit with the long sleeves. Love the length again. Definitely needs an iron again, and it just has a zip going from top to bottom. This is from I Saw It First, and it has the collar at the top as well. I love this one after an iron. I think this will look really stylish. Just love the nice neutral colour. It has a low back, and I just love the, the bust, because you don't need a bra, and it just kind of cups you in. Nice and floaty, and long sleeves for the cold. Okay, this has turned into a haul because I can't decide which dresses to take. Another one from I Saw It First, stunning long dress, which again looks quite elegant and quite expensive for what it is. Two ties here, so I don't flash myself. And I'll probably be wearing some wedge sliders with this. Can't quite decide on this. It is such a lovely fit. I think it might be the shoulders look a little bit too puffy. Oh, I don't know whether it makes me look like an old woman, actually. I do love how it feels, though. It's really comfortable and elastic. The light is changing a bit now because I had a little bit of a break. This is really, really nice. Again, I saw it first. Silky satin material. Just not sure about this excess material. Kind of makes you look like you've got droopy boobs, but if you've got your arms down, it's not as obvious. And then the back has a lovely tie neck. And a bit of a gap at the back there. I'm going to take this because this is going to be great for pasta. Hides a multitude of sins. I'm going to take this uh, sheer beach throw for the beach clubs. It does look much better on, I promise. <laughs> it's nice and stretchy and sheer. And this is a closer look at the material. These are the swimsuits I'm going to take. Got some in the style ones. This one is... My Ibiza one, I can't remember where that's from actually. And then this one, it's a pretty little thing which I really like. It's my favourite one. I never use packing cubes, but I thought these were quite cute on Amazon with the yellow writing. 
so i've just put my swimsuits in there and the clothes are all in there this is a boucle cardigan it's quite a granny-ish um sort of cardigan but it's so comfy and i know that's going to keep me warm when i'm out in the wind in mykonos and it's long as well so i can cover my legs so i just don't care at this point comfort is key and yeah i just put the rest of my clothes in there flight outfit on top because we're staying in manchester and that will be the next morning that i wear that outfit and just while i remember this is my holiday book and um, this is a medium that i've seen twice now and all my family have seen him and he is absolutely amazing and i can't wait to read that it's not a big book it'll take me about probably four days to read it so good uh, good timing because we're staying for four nights and five days hey guys it's the next day i just gave up yesterday because i was so tired Got a water infection and i just feel so fatigued and just no energy whatsoever but i still have a big mess on the floor i just hate packing i do it so often because we go away so much and do it with work a lot and i just wish it would get easier but i just absolutely despise it and i even thought if i get the packing cubes that might help come on Emma. come on you can do it I thought it might be handy to let you know which packing app I use. So this is literally just called Pack and I have a little group there that says last minute packs because I hate not being able to tick things off because it's not the morning yet. You know, when you just put in your last minute bits in like your toothbrush and your razor. And then I've got a handbag section and then I actually even have a liquid bag section for when you're just traveling with hand luggage. So it's just really cool to put everything in categories and makes you feel much more organized. So I recommend that and it's a free app. But as you can see, I've ticked about four things off. So I need to stop procrastinating. First things first, outfit for tomorrow. We're going to Manchester and we're going to go to Karen's Diner, which is the diner where everybody's really rude to you. So we can't wait for that. I've just got these pants from Looks to Kill, which definitely need an iron. I will do that before I leave. Um, just a black sheen top and then this Sister Stories hoodie, which I will be putting on because apparently it's thunder and lightning. So just nice and casual with those chunky converse I was talking about. Okay, we have a smoothie ready. Matches my nails. It's a berry actually, it's really, really nice. It's actually frozen berry, frozen banana, oat milk and a bit of honey. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put in my handbag for the flight. So this is my trusty Louis Vuitton bag. I've had this about three years now. I got it for my birthday one year and oh my God, it's come in so, so handy. I call it my shopping bag because it has such great space. There's a compartment in the middle there and it's great for an airport because you want a, a slightly bigger bag obviously to keep your stuff in like your beats headphones so it just works out really great for shopping and flying so going in the bag we have my book my sunglasses some tissues this is a really good purse for your cards and cash uh, always have a protein bar in case i get hungry because i'm always hungry a pen um, this is really good actually if you didn't know that Vaseline did them in these little squirty tubs but I'm aware that you can't put these in the bag until after security. We have some blisters, um, some blisters, some blister plasters, cute little nail file that came in one of the hotel rooms one time, some toothpicks because I do have a brace on the bottom back of my teeth, some paracetamol, I think everybody carries this around don't they? Hand wipes for the plane, I literally wipe down the entirety of where I'm sat especially the tray table it makes me sick because it's never clean and then my house keys always have a tile on my key because when you come back from holiday you can never remember where you put them and you just press the tile app on your phone and it will start beeping so that's quite handy the only thing missing is my passport joe keeps that safe and i don't know where he's put it and then after security i'll put one of these sample perfumes in my bag these are unisex so me and joe just use these for every holiday and of course a bobble you need a bobble in your handbag. I never keep one on my wrist for some reason, but that'll be in my handbag as well. Okay, guys, behold the amazing liquid bag. I have so many liquids in here because I use so much stuff. I've got my exfoliator in there even. Um, I've got toothpaste in a little tiny tub because you really don't use that much toothpaste. There it is. Um, this is my micellar, uh, micellar water, which is a spray one, so I don't use too much by accident. I have my brow stuff in there, lash serum, mascara, liquid lip. I honestly couldn't tell you all of them. My shampoo and conditioner are in there as well. These pots are incredible. They're from Amazon and that's the only way I could manage to take all my liquids. I just feel, I do feel a bit ridiculous. I use so many liquids on a daily basis, but it fits in there. It's even my after sun, you see, so I've just written on it with some coal eyeliner. 
I'm so happy that I got them in because my last holiday was a nightmare because I didn't have these tubs. <laughs> Forgot my heat protection, so there it is. <laughs> it's squeezed in there. Makeup. I'm not going to run through all of this because there is a lot to get through, but I'm going to put it in this bag that I've had for years. Um, I don't know where it's from, but it's literally about seven years old, I'd say. Baby wipes are a must. This palette is one that I just found from Soph Does Nails. She recommended this, or Soph Does Life now she's called. And it's just brilliant neutrals for holiday. And I'm actually going to double that up as contour as well, because believe it or not, you can use eyeshadow as contour and it will work perfectly the same. And then I also have my favourite Jaclyn powder palette. My Wonder Beauty blush highlight from Jaclyn. And my eyelashes and glue go in this little tin here. Got some PJs I always take on holiday. Make sure that they're shorts because obviously it's going to be hot there. The clutch that I'm going to take for night time is this really pretty Libby bag. Plenty of compartments in there for anything I need to bring out at night. And I absolutely love this beach bag that I got for Lake Como a few months ago. So I'm going to be taking this and that'll be great for all the beach clubs that we're going to. Just in case we don't lie around a beach all day, I've just bought these for some day dresses that I can just rewear. Just some really easy throw-ons. Then got some random bits like my brush and some cosmetic pads, a fan for my handbag and a bag for my adapters. Not sure what else is going to go in here, probably chargers and stuff. And my beats are going to go in my handbag as well, which I forgot to say. And then these are the three last items remaining. So I've got my sliders I'm going to wear every night at night, my Converse for the flight and then my Croc flip-flops, which are so, so comfortable. And there's the daytime. And then all that's left is some decaf tea and coffee. So that is my packing with me video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Quite a long one, but I think we got everything in. And it took me about two days, but we got there in the end. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in next week's video, which is going to be the Mykonos vlog. Bye.